Okay, so today we're going to go through how to quickly and cheaply, fairly cheaply, upgrade your old laptop. So this laptop comes with two gig and we're gonna put an extra four gig inside it. And we're also gonna swap out the hard drive for an SSD drive as well. So we're just gonna give it a general clean up and everything as well. Now, before I actually do anything inside here, uh, the first thing I wanna do is pop out the battery just so there's no charge in there at all. Um, and then just give it a couple of seconds and then just basically uh, let everything discharge. Now to get inside, there's obviously this laptop's gonna be different than every other laptop, but basically there's gonna be a plate in there to get into the hard drive, maybe a plate separately as well for the memory. On this one, however, conveniently, it's all in one. So essentially there's just one screw on this. Loosen the screw, and then you've got this big kind of plastic thing you've gotta lift up and then jiggle around while it unclips, and then that comes off nicely in one piece um, and you can see there where we've got um, the two gig of RAM um, it's in one slot and then there's another slot that's free on top of it and then we've got the old hard drive as well and um, you can see there's obviously the cooling for the processor and all the fans and everything like that so what I'm going to do before I do anything else really is just give it a bit of a clean out with some compressed air in a tin So the first thing you need to do as well when you get started, you are going to mess with electronics here. So the first thing I do is basically go for something like the heat shield assembly or something like that. Um, or you see these little metal bits around there, metal plates and stuff, um, or even the casing of the hard drive. And you're just grounding yourself. Your, your body carries a voltage and obviously the motherboard is carrying a voltage as well. And you just want to equalize that voltage to make sure you're not going to shock any of the new components. Um, so while it's entirely switched off with the battery out, um, just basically you're grounding yourself, you're equalizing your body's voltage to the voltage of the components inside. So once you've done that, take out the four gig of RAM and basically we're just gonna pop it inside there. You're basically just popping it in there and then click it in place, just like that. To get the drive out, um, it's basically uh, just open in there, so the only thing that really locked it in place was this uh, cover plate. So if you look in the cover plate there, it's got some tabs which sit behind the hard drive to stop it from moving. So once that's all removed, then basically just pulling it out. And that's it, that's the hard drive pulled out. Um, and then basically this little silver tray that it comes in, um, we can swap that over to the SSD drive and then put it back in. Now the beauty about doing this as well is that these uh, SSD drives are much lighter than the mechanical drives. So um, you're actually making your laptop a bit lighter, you'll make the battery last longer as well. Um, it'll boot up far quicker having these in there and, um, and generally give a bit more life into your old laptop. Now if you're wondering, obviously the difference why the weight and everything else, why that's faster and everything else, it says SSD drive, solid state drive. Um, essentially inside here are mechanical moving components. Um, there's a disc inside there that's spun by the motor. And then there's some, um, they're called heads, they're read write heads that actually spin across the drive and read it, move in and move out, move across the head and read it. So the reason why they're slow is that that runs at 5400 RPM and then the head has to move across. So if you imagine, I've got some data that's written over there and I need to read it right now. I've got to wait for that drive to spin round. I've then got to read that bit of data. Now the next bit of data, because the way data's fragmented, might be over there. So I've got to wait for it to spin round again and then move the head out this way. And that's what takes the time. The beauty about SSD drives is they're almost like the RAM. So they're almost like the, you know, the memory inside your computer. But what people have actually done is turn them into hard drive space. So solid state means that um, when you switch it off, the status of the data that's stored on it remains as opposed to RAM, which means that as soon as they lose the power, everything in them gets lost. So it's the same sort of chips, 
but obviously what they're actually used for inside is completely different and they retain the memory inside them. But because it's chips, it means that it's really fast to access the data in there. So these drives are a much faster drive to use in your real computer. So we're basically just gonna pop that back in there. So we can see there's a little tab at the back of it. And then we've got that little connector there that goes into that little connector there. And basically just by dropping it inside there, like that and then pushing on the back that sits and it's all connected up there it's all nice and neat everything in there is all nice and connected now and that's you done we've upgraded the ram we've put an extra four gig in there so that gives this laptop six gig um, and we've got um, SSD drive in there to allow us get faster kind of access to our data, boot up faster. We've cleaned it out as well. So it's now just a case of putting this cover back on. Um, again, it's the kind of wriggle factor. So it has to sort of be wriggled back into place. There's gonna be weird tabs that stick in and click in places and that. So you just be a bit sort of careful with them. So make sure it sits all flush and then uh, screw them back down. Obviously now we can plug the battery back in and lock that in place um, and the other thing I like to do as well just because I'm a bit weird like this is I like to give them a bit of a clean as well uh, top and bottom so I'm using a safe clean here it's an anti-static foam cleaner and um, just allows you to clean things without worrying about things getting inside so give it a bit of a clean there clean on top I mean who doesn't like a nice clean laptop eh? and obviously we blew all that dust out before which means that you know everything else is going to be a bit a bit dirty in there so we're going to clean that bit out too just be really gentle on the key tops just so you don't pull the key tops off while you're doing that. Um, and then on the screen, just keep going over the screen because it might leave a bit of a residue on it. We just keep going over it until it's nice and dry. So hang on a minute, you're thinking, hang on, you've put a new hard drive in there. It's all blank now. Well, this is the next clever bit and this is why, it's, why I'm saying it's an easy upgrade to do. As you saw, that took me sort of five minutes. It took probably twice as long because I'm arranging all the cameras and everything else on there trying to do it so you can see however um, it's a five minute job to do that uh, once you do it nice and safely now the next bit really is to copy the data over from this hard drive to the new ssd hard drive we put in there so that when you switch this back on that it comes up and it all works fine because if we switch this on now we're just going to get a message that says no hard drive, no boot volume. So this is the next clever bit now we're gonna do, which is basically to clone the data from this hard drive, the existing hard drive, to the new hard drive inside there. I'm just gonna clone everything across. So what we've got now is a laptop all booted up. I've got a boot CD in the CD drive of the laptop, which is gonna enable us to boot up into an image copy mode. And I've got this uh, USB external hard drive adapter. So that's our original hard drive, it's plugged into there. We're gonna switch that on, and we can hear the drive spinning up, and then we're gonna to choose to boot up off the CD. This is basically gonna take us to a, a Cronus loader. So a Cronus is basically the software that um, I'm using to copy this over. So we're gonna to get to the menu, um, and we want the full version. So that's what we want there. That will allow us to get all the options about moving all the data over and everything else we need to do. It takes a couple of seconds, basically what it's doing at the moment is it's going to read that hard drive um, and then it's going to read the SSD drive that we've uh, installed in there as well. And just to get the environment inside the laptop to know what it can move over, how it can communicate between the two drives and, uh, and what sort of size they are, that kind of thing. And then it's going to come back and allow us to select that data um, and then go through the options about how to clone the data over. So now it's gone through that, basically we want to do the uh, automatic method. We just want to clone everything from one drive to the next. So now basically it's going to replicate everything from uh, the original drive, which is the top one, to the bottom drive there. 
if you wanted to at this stage you can move things around if you wanted to actually say no you know I don't need a drive D and all that kind of thing then you can actually click the back button uh, down the bottom there and then do a manual conversion and just convert the windows um, you know C drive and things like that and then basically just say that obviously disk what disk 2 here is the original um, so select the source and then you can do that and then select the destination drive select that um, and you want to keep the data on the original drive so the old hard drive keep the data on there don't destroy it or anything else I think that's all right so if we click next on that one uh, so that's it it's just giving us the information we need to start the process and uh, then click proceed so the speed of this process really is going to depend on the speed of your hard drive as I said we are restricted quite uh, severely here by the fact that it's only an i3 processor in there. Um, yes, we're now 6 gig of RAM in it. And yes, one of the hard drives is the SSD drive. But obviously what we're doing here is we're connecting via USB 2 to an old hard drive via this adapter. Uh, why am I using this old skunky adapter as well? It's a bit sort of old and decrepit. Well, because I've used so many things over the years that you kind of get used to what works best and unfortunately that little horrible looking thing there I can rely on so much and it works better than anything else I've ever used so I'd rather it take 1 hour 22 minutes and I know that it works fine so we'll leave that now for the 1 hour 22 minutes it's more than likely going to count up there you go it's 26 minutes so it's probably going to take maybe 3 hours to do sort of 1 and a half to 3 hours something like that and then once we're done with it we disconnect this hard drive um, so it's just back to the straight laptop and then boot it up and then there's a few more processes in there about cleaning up and things like that and sorting out everything that's on there. We'll go through that um, and then uh, we'll come back later. So the last few things like I said is really just tidy up. So you go to your Windows C drive, um, obviously this is all about Windows users really um, and basically from there you click on disk clean up. Um, go through and check all those boxes in there make sure they're all checked obviously if you're deleting your recycle bin make sure that if you've got anything in there you you understand it's going to be deleted uh, click OK that way and go and delete everything like that and that's your temporary files and um, temporary internet files and all that kind of stuff is all going to get deleted so that's going to uh, get rid of a load of rubbish as well and you can pretty much do the same thing if you want again disk clean up clean up system files and these are uh, driver updates, Windows updates, all that kind of thing as well. Um, so you can go away and basically sort of check Windows Defender antivirus, all the old bits there. And just generally just check, make sure all those are ticked, click OK. Do you want to delete? Yes, you do. Um, so that's pretty much it. Click OK when you're done. Now another thing that I've done is installed a little tool on here called Tree Size Free. So what this does is lay out the um, C drive or whichever drive you actually select. Um, and the contents of it and tells you you know what's taking up the most space on there so you can go on there and you can see how much space Windows is taking up or the users folder or you know just whatever folders are left um, and then if you wanted to say for example you can go into Windows and to see uh, you know what sort of files are taken up in there is it Windows files or is it temporary files and just have a bit of a clean up that way as well just to make sure that you've not got any huge files on there that you don't need the space for anymore so thanks very much for watching my video today um, I've used a few little camera angles today so we've gone GoPro we've got the Sony a6500 um, and the iPhone as well just to try and get it all in there so if you're thinking things looked a bit weird you know just I'm just trying to use all my different cameras to get it um, I didn't want to use screen recording software because this isn't my computer it's somebody else's computer that I've been doing this work on for them so that's why I've used my phone to record the screen um, but generally any comments on this video, any comments about what I've done there, if you need any advice or whatever, then uh, just uh, comment down below and I'll uh, do my best to answer and help you out. Well, thanks very much for watching and until the next time, take care now. Bye.